Hello everybody, my name is Petr Kukni and today I will speak about Immortal Chess Games. I believe that one of the best chess games ever and I'm in part number two. So I hope you will enjoy as part number one and let's watch a really beautiful game Lev Polgajewski and Rashid Djibatyovic. And what we will see, Black will play a really simple chess. He will play for attack f5, f4, g5 and he believed that it's a right that the most important factor in chess is activity. Okay, it's year 1958 and what will be interesting that if you play with fantasy, maybe everything is possible. Even moves which looks like impossible moves are possible. So, okay, now to d5. And c7 pawn is under attack, and you know nearly every time it's good to save this pawn, but not now. Now we are playing for attack. We are we are trying to win this game by a checkmate. So c7 pawn doesn't matter, and g4. Okay, um, wise position is shaking. So. It's a good idea to not take on c7 pawn and play g3 and one exchange of pawns. Okay, white's king is a weakness. And maybe here, if I would take on c7, it's checkmate or nearly checkmate, but at least a lost position. So c7 pawn now is forbidden and f4 f4, this knight is under attack and black need to do with this knight. You know, nearly every time we are going to save this knight. But nearly every time doesn't mean now. <laughs> we should do e6. And of course, this knight is still hard to touch because uh, black will take on d5 and then check on e3. And still, here is the big threat to take on d5 and then check on e3. So, looks like still it's hard to take this knight. Rook to f7 and check on h2 and watch white's king. White's king is going and going and walking and walking and you know, every time if your opponent is walking, is losing. So, both knights are under attack, but not really. Uh, why should not take this knight because of pin? So, knight to b4 and rook will take on f4. What a beautiful position! Black's queen on h2 is for free. Now it's important to count this variation till end. Uh, if black is right, it's winning. If black is wrong, of course, he's losing. So why not to take this queen and check and bishop to g7. A dangerous position for this king. So this king is running out of the threats. c5 and still there is a waiting check for white. So white played bishop to d3 and check is here and d5, another check, so he took, took, check, and watch this king, this is a really amazing position, and this piece was here, and is on b5, and how to win this game, rook to b8, and checkmate is waiting for white, of course, white has only one move, and check on c5, or rook to b6. I hope that you agree that this was an exciting game and it's worth to see another one. So if you like this video, feel free and press a like or press follow. And we are going to watch another game. It's a 1962 Rashid Gibiatovic Oleg Chernikov. Oleg Chernikov, a famous Russian player. So what we are watching? Um not to G4, okay. This variation is famous, and uh, bishop to f6. What do you, what do you think? White will play with his queen here. 
This is one of the most uh, exciting chess move all ever. And believe me or no, why did but take on f6? Yes, he took on f6 and he's still playing for win. What an amazing move and lovely position. So watch what's happened next. Check. Okay, why not? And knight to c3. So white has two minor pieces for the queen. It's a really important question. If it's enough or no? And watch this game, rook to e8. What's important here that these two pieces are not playing. If this bishop is here, maybe um, black is winning. Or if this rook is here, or here, or here, maybe black is winning. But a different is that in chess, we are not speaking about maybe, and we are playing chess. So here, two bad black species are not worth for missing white a queen. So, not to d5 is a check, of course, in the threat take on f6 and bishop to d4. Yes, uh, this bishop is really monster because uh, f6 pawn is pinned. And how to play this position? Rook to d1. Play with all your pieces, play simple chess. Uh, d6, uh, it's a good idea to play with this bishop because if black has time, he will play two moves with his bishop and maybe he's winning, but maybe not, not working here. Okay, rook to f3, and as I told you, this pin is dangerous pin for black and bishop to c3. So, attack for attack. Um, black is attacking rook on f1 and white is attacking a5 queen. And now white rook on f6. Is going to attack this rook or both rooks? What's happen next? Check on h7. Of course, if black would take is check on h3 or f7. So important to go to g8. And a rook to h3. Watch this threat. You know, it's really hard to believe that white played and saw everything because so exciting, everything is in the air. And still, black has no time to save his position. So, rook to e6. Okay, f4. Take one rook. And he took the rook. Uh, now, bishop to d4. Sounds like this bishop on d4, this dark square's bishop, is the most important piece for white. Maybe it's stronger than a rook or two knights. This is a winning piece on d4, and still, winning threat is on h8. Now to g5, and even black has more material. He was a queen up. Uh, it's not enough. Beautiful check. And yes, of course, everything else is simple because at the end of this game, uh, white has two minor pieces for rook and this position is one position for white. One of the most exciting chess games ever. You know, I never saw position where white took on f6 with his queen. So it has to be player with great fantasy to see everything, to count this position and to have the right feeling that white has a compensation. Okay, let's watch another game. I hope you will enjoy. Uh, what we will see, yes, of course, famous Johannes Zuckertot and Henry Blackburn, jazz legends. So we are jumping over theory and we will watch what it will be interesting. Okay, here 
white's attacking um, black's dark squares bishop okay why not white has two bishops advantage a free um, exchange of two knights uh, d5 and normal looking position one or to e8 e1 and c8 okay e5 f4 g6 and here is interesting time of this game black is playing somewhere here and black has there two rooks and bishop and maybe this queen black's army is ready to fight on the left wing instead uh, white's army believe that he will win this game on the right side of the chessboard so one of them will be right f5 they take and f5 so yes every times when somebody's playing this move uh, it's it sounds like something is wrong with black position and take 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 on g6 and take on h7 yes maybe till now it was ordinary position nothing special but check and watch this position watch this move johannes zuckertot will play with his queen to b4 another great moment of chess game chess history smiling and writing with golden words this is immortal chess game of course he's going to stop this threat but <laughs> not forever check on check on uh, f8 it's another beautiful move black took and another check and another check okay rook on f8 it's for free makes sense that black will take this rook check on g7 what else then black's resignation here beautiful game i hope that you agree that uh, wow here okay we are faster faster going to the most exciting position uh, white queen to b4 wow a really beautiful moment and well done for everybody who saw this move or who know this position who know this game and i believe that we are right to say that this game is one of the immortal chess games okay let's go for another one and uh, Efim Korchnar, FC Poliak. Mm, okay, 1937. What we will see? Spanish opening. Nothing special. You know, I'm not ready to speak about theory. Why to speak about theory if we are searching for amazing moves, for amazing ideas? And what is waiting here for us? A5. Why not? And if Y is playing uh, rook to d3, believe me or no, that he's hungry for a black king. Okay, one more rook is going to game, knight to d5, and take on f6, and rook to g3. So, different between white's army and black's army is in their activity. Nearly all white species are attacking black's position, but it's hard to say the same about black's army. Black is not, not attacking, black has no attack, no, no threats. F6, okay, bishop to a6, and knight to b4. Wow, this is a move. Knight for free and that's not everything yes of course black will take but black's king is asking for another shot white took on d6 wow so now another immortal chess game another amazing move and 
Chess history. No another great game. Okay. Looks like Black is doing all his best to save his position, but it's too late. Checkmate. It's coming in next move. Of course, uh, you will take. Check. And checkmate. So beautiful, beautiful, and I hope that every chess lover will enjoy this game. So, uh, year 1938. So let's be faster. Opening is gone, and uh, players are playing for attack. Um, Black King is still in the center, so that's a dangerous position for him. And what we will see, oh, this position is blocked. So watch this position and watch how Black King is happy. But he's happy only now. Next coming move, this piece will not be happy and something will change. Okay, we are waiting for the right moment to say that the position is changed. And of course, we are speaking about immortal chess games, so nothing till now. And uh, still, let's go there. Knight to g4. Wow, knight for nothing. If I am black, I will take this knight. Black took, and it's open h file. Okay, it's hard to believe that there is any attack because everybody knows that with this bishop on g7. Black is absolutely safe, um, but no way. Okay, the first threat check on h7. Black is smiling, it's nothing. Okay, knight to d4. Wow, this knight is coming back and another time for free. Uh, black took, and now black maybe know that it's too late. Uh, okay, why not to take the queen? If I am lost, I will take the queen and I will wait for, for the next moves. Okay, check. Okay, nothing special. F4. Beautiful pin. Okay, check. And rook to F1. Uh, looks like black has lots of material. He is winning every endgame. But just um, to go to endgame is really hard, hard, hard job. So, rook to f8 and black lost one piece, nothing special. And wow, rook took on f6. Another great time because another pin looks like everything's okay, but it's hard to imagine that Black with such a big material advantage is lost. Okay, check. Attack. And of course, this position is absolutely lost for Black. Another just beauty, you know, so many sacrifices, so many beautiful ideas. Uh, and I hope you are enjoying. Because when I saw these games at the first time, I really enjoyed. Uh, touching. I played this game against Lev Holugaevsky in Chess Olympiad, 1982. So, very important game. And uh, till now, nothing special. But what we will see nice is here. Black is going to h5. Is going to h5 and looks like this knight is for free. You know, why not to take knight on h5? Why not to win a game with extra material? Um, left took on h5. But here is a first threat and this bishop is under attack, or maybe this bishop is for free. So if you will take on b7, it's checkmate on h3. Something is wrong. 
and looks like there is activity. Black has attack, but rook d5 and forge another move. Black took on g2. Beautiful moment. And here, um, white resign. Chess Olympiad 1982. Important games. And black won such a old chess master. Okay, if you have not enough, let's watch another game. Uh, Rudolf Harousek, a chess player, uh, 1893, Jakob Warner. So, watch another beauty. Okay, attack on f7, make sense to take on f7. If we are attacking on f7, we are taking on f7 and e5. Of course, uh, to take on e5 is a mistake because black will lose his queen. It's a simple threat. Sure. So, knight to g4, e6. Okie dokie. Uh, black is playing to h4, attacking on h2 and f2. So, looks like black is winning. But what's the biggest black? Problem are these pieces. They are not playing. Black is playing without three pieces, and this is the most important way. So, okay, check, nothing special, and we are at the end of the game. White is winning by a beautiful move to e8. Uh, it's game over, of course. Uh, black took and check. And one more check and it's not check it's a checkmate so it was another chess beauty and i hope you enjoying um i think the last one alexey shirov yurit polgar yes uh, yurit polgar the best chess woman player ever and watch her performance watch her moves you know she played like a tal she doesn't care about material, she doesn't care about pieces, she cares about to shoot a great attacker, Alexei Shirov. Okay, b4 and h5, knight to a5, okay, of course, um, to take this knight is hard move, and uh, she took on g5, of course, this piece is not for free, because it's check on f3, but, you know, Alexei Shirov is under such a big pressure and now it's coming another shot. You know, knight to e3, this bishop is for free, this knight is under attack, this queen is under attack and a really messy position, everything is under fire and what to play? Um, Shirov played the knight to g3, but back took and knight to c2. And she took on a1, b3, and at the end, black has more material and is winning. So that should be everything for now. I hope you enjoyed. I hope that you saw interesting chess games and you like this video. So if you can, you can press like or follow. And I will see you next time in our another. I hope interesting chess videos. So guys, thank you very much for watching and see you soon. Bye bye.